when I've decided to uh, to put the X lock in my new uh, NEC CQ110E because it does drift and this day and age with uh, it's not fair on the other operators it when you start to drift so I've got it already built and why not use it well unfortunately I can't put it in the exact same place where I had it in the uh, previous NEC because um, I could take the speaker out uh, but uh, I don't want to but uh, in the previous one I did have this uh, smaller speaker the uh, previous owner decided to to put another speaker in but in the uh, new one I've got this larger speaker now with the smaller speaker I could got I could get the LE sorry the X lock in but uh, with this new speaker there's no way so I'm having to revise where I'm going to put it and what I've decided is I'm going to put it inside the VFO casing now what I've made is this platform now it's not a bodge up it does work quite well I haven't finished it yet of course but these are the blocks that uh, you see me with a Byron uh, antenna aerial you've seen these blocks now these are cut to support the uh, the platform and these will sit on these ends these extensions and actually slide down very very tight in to the VFO there and the wires will be even shorter won't they by the way the uh, NEC decided when they fitted uh, well this is about 150th 150th uh, model after my previous NEC according to the serial number they made the speaker wire a lot thinner a lot shorter so they're cutting back plus on this on this model I guess continental models they didn't put uh, a speaker socket just the key socket there look on the back I have there a speaker socket extension speaker socket so for the UK they actually put uh, an extension speaker socket in so right we'll get stuck into putting this uh, X lock in here okay well there it is on its platform okay as you see it's going to slip over onto those extensions there look just like that I need to go right down to the cap there. Uh, all we have to do is uh, wire it up now, I guess, and then put it in. Oh, job done. Hopefully. As you see, it's in on its platform, but it will go down a bit further than that. I won't be using the LED, the, uh, the green LED for uh, telling me whether it's working or not because this is the green LED here look just uh, just put it on for, um, for testing but I don't need don't need this extra I don't need to know if it's working because I know it's working if it starts to drift it's not working is it but um, that will be pushed further down with these, uh, you can see, look how they go on those extensions there and uh, it just that white part of the cap there, look 
variable capacitor coming from the uh, the gears there that will I've had a cut out in the uh, the platform to allow that to spin on tuning up tuning around and uh, say I've uh, will be extending these extensions just a couple of little um, bolts from inside the uh, the cover just to give me an extra quarter of an inch and um, and it's working yeah absolutely perfect the frequency hasn't changed since I uh, what time 13 well I didn't put down the time did I but uh, it's probably 15 minutes now and the frequency hasn't changed so uh, you know how long's a QSO but uh, I'll give it a little bit longer yet before I enclose it I have enclosed it once and then uh, realized that uh, on switch on the frequency seemed to change uh, dramatically to uh, another frequency on the same band of course you know for about 10 kcs so I did make a little bit of a blunder on the soldering on the underside of this um, VFO I think a wire was touching somewhere on that Vero, Vero cap there look so we uh, had to uh, recheck done all that now and uh, it seems perfect it does move about two kcs from switch on it instantly goes to up to down two kcs but that's quite well within the uh, the limit there any more than that and uh, you need to reduce the coupling capacitor but mine's 68 puff and uh, it's going to stay there so uh, Yep, frequencies locked on there. Look at that. Uh, you can't quite see it, can you? Point 0.9 there. It's been like that for some time now. So we now have to get on the air. Okay. Well, can you see where I've been? Can you see any wires? It's in there. It's not going to move. Ever. Unless it falls off the back of a truck. I doubt that, don't you? Can you see any wires? No. A lot of hard work there planning this, but um, I'm sure it's going to be worth it. We'll switch on and see if it works. <laughs> right, I'm just going to plug it in. Right, I better close my legs. Don't get you too excited. Now, um, right, we're going to switch it on now after we've enclosed it okay switch on now right it's upside down of course because that's I've been working on the bottom okay upside down well, there's no smoke so it's in there for life I guess we will put the bottom on now with the speaker connected and uh, I'll give it a test later on. Complete test. Might even get on the air with it. <laughs> See you later.